name is Josh Graves and my degree program is the Music Business Bachelor's Degree Program. Today I'm interviewing Tony Cavallo, a local artist from my hometown of Davenport, Iowa. The first question is, what do you see as the role of visual arts in society today, particularly in your and Tony profession. said, the role of the artist in society is dependent on the individual of society itself and what they value as individuals. But mainly, they are the true psychological doctors, and the philosophers as well, because they create the reflective work that can lead others back to their humanness. Yet good artists refuse to be compartmentalized and branched out in all directions, so I guess I must call the artist the shaman of his time. The second question was, new communications and media technologies make imagery almost instantly available. Do you believe that this is having a positive or negative influence on your field or industry? Tony Cavallo answered question number two by saying, Digital communication is and will continue to have both good and bad influence. Good because it allows avenues for, le for releasing material where previously none existed, and bad at least for a while because the infantile storm of horrid ideas spewing forth from repressed creativity banks. For question number three, it was, what popular images do you see that are frequently repeated throughout your industry? Tony Cavallo answered question number three by saying, Popular images throughout my world are often classical paintings by the Renaissance masters, only now the characters of the scene wear iPods and the Mona Lisa twerks and licks Da Vinci's pencil. I try to never succumb to the stargazing of common imagery because it gets lodged in the subconscious mind and will affect your next session at the drawing board. Question number four is, who is one of your favorite visual artists and or what is your favorite style of visual art? Tony said that his favorite visual artist was Harmonious Bosch and the Garden of Earth Delights because it was way before its time and pre-Renaissance and entirely modern. He said it was weird as hell and one third of the painting is actually a depiction of hell and that his favorite style is one that he will bring into existence which is a fusion of ancient master techniques, even older than primitive scrawling passages, fused into impressionalistic, surrealistic, and psychological freeform pop jazz doodling. Question number five was, how has your knowledge of famous artworks influenced your creative process? Question number five was, how has your knowledge of famous artworks influenced your creative process? Tony answered by saying, the more that he learns about older artworks, the more that he notices the construction of high quality masterpieces. The subtlety of 1600s and 1700s painters was so fine and controlled that it blows the mind, yet the cartoon aspect of someone later like Rockwell tackles the humorous, goofy side of the human physique and nature. He attempts to explore the various options for an approach to an idea, usually by scanning the mental archives of styles achieved before. He then goes grocery shopping for side dishes of other forms. And Tony also states that in an attempt to explore various options for an approach to an idea, he usually goes by scanning the mental archive of styles achieved before. Then he goes grocery shopping for side dishes from other styles. He thinks, okay, it has a surrealistic base for the main two forms, and the rest of the people will look like raw doll cartoon drawings. Of course, it always comes out of my own, and most wouldn't even relate mine to the stylistic inspiration but it can really help get you going. 